It was really valuable for me to be involved in this project as part of the team in this paid student role because it empowered me to learn and to develop my understanding in this field. This role has been so beneficial to work with the other student co-creators at the different universities and hear about their viewpoints and learn from them and altogether take part in creating something that's going to help a whole new generation of students. I think it was really interesting to work with students from other universities. I felt like it really broadened my perspectives and my horizons. It really taught me a lot, especially about decolonial thinking. That was something that I'd really come across and I had to adapt and learn. So working with Roberta, who was our student associate on the project, that has been great. At the beginning of the project, she was beginning to get to grips with the notion of EFS, specifically on her program, and she was beginning to understand a lot of the content and the context around what curriculum development is and what course frameworks are. Seeing her confidence grow and her knowledge grow has been very exciting. It was really valuable to have a current student working and supporting us on this QA project from King's. We had that practical current experience being a student, which was really valuable to add to this project and so necessary for this project. And Katie took a lead on managing the workshops that we were doing with students and bringing that tool to life as well and having live conversations with students and bouncing ideas off each other and thoughts which really elevated feedback for the tool and the futurity of this QA project as well as general education for sustainability. It was really surprising to see how the student team's expectations of education for sustainability in the sector evolved over time. When they first joined the project, I think they didn't know a lot about education for sustainability and thought perhaps that this new concept wouldn't be in very many places. And then as they started to understand what education for sustainability was a lot more, I think they thought it was so cool, they should be seeing it everywhere and why hadn't the sector caught up to this agenda in its trueness. And then as they really started to look around and to complete the sector review, it was a bit of a back step when they saw the reality of what was still quite early steps and quite small scale practice that really wasn't truly embedding the triple bottom line that was still focused on silos and that wasn't meeting the expectations of the type of learning they felt strongly that they now needed.